Okay, so I made a table runner today out of denim and I put a little pocket on it that sits on the top of the table runner and it holds the remote controls for the TV. So this is for uh, the top of our dresser where the TV is and the rental condo and I thought it'd be nice to keep the remote control safeguarded. So this is a flower I decided to make at the last minute. I'll show you a little bit about the runner a little bit later. But uh, as I was making it, I thought it would be cute to just show you what I did. Um, just from like this scrap of fabric. I don't even know how many inches long it is. But let's see. So we're at about, okay, so 15 inch strip is what I was working with. So I did a three inch by 15 inch strip. And then I did a two inch by 15 inch stretch, uh, strip. And then I sewed them together with a really big four, uh, number four on the sewing machine uh, running stitch. And then I pulled it together in the form of a flower, which you've seen all over the internet and read about. Uh, and then I, Here's what else I did. Then I began to cut inside to make it more like um, with a lot more petals. And now I'm just pulling the excess off of this piece of burlap. I'm just I'm literally using what's in front of me and just, you know, looping this around a couple of times. And I can't do it with one hand but you see what I'm saying. Like, like you would make a flower. And then this is all gonna get glued in here. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use for the center, but something, maybe a bead or, I don't know, maybe a pearl. We'll see, something interesting. But it's so cute that I needed to show you how easy that really is. And I'm gonna glue it on. Here's the, the table runner. So, not going to be ready for a while. But here's the pocket. Just kind of like very hippie. And uh, this flower is going to go on it. I don't know if you can see that. I feel like we can't see it very well. But I think it's going to look cute. And the remotes will go in there. So, thanks. Okay, I just want to show you how to get fabric fringed. Not just fringed, but frayed. So, I don't know, a lot of people have done this when they were younger with their jeans and stuff like that. So you can see there's a difference here. See this one? And then from the ones that are cut. So hopefully you can see this in here, okay? So I just want to show you really quick, we start to pull all the little threads, little by little, little by little pull the threads, start to pull that like this, like this, like this, you keep going, keep going and pulling the threads, pull them down, you can use a little seam ripper to come in and find the threads and pull them out. Okay, and then after that, I'm just gonna pull it down, pull it down. Hopefully you're seeing this. I like to run my fingernail along the edges and just rough them up. Rough them up. I'm hoping that you can see this. And just with my nail going one way and then I come back in and I go up the other way and there it is so you can see the difference between the two you can just fringe it or you can really fray it up and give it that really
bohemian hippie look.